video so that you can be super fit as you travel with the bands. So uh, as a reminder, yellow is easiest, then green, then red, then blue, and then black. So as I go through the exercises, you can choose what's the best resistance for you um, because we're going to be doing 10 to 15 reps. If you get to 15, it's probably time to add a little bit more resistance. So I'll just start with red in the middle. You do have a door strap with your band. I'm gonna be using my basketball hoop. So let's start with our upper body. Putting it in the door strap so that it is chest height. Crossing the arms in front and now, if you find that the band starts coming up over your shoulders, you can put your thumbs down and just put the band on it. On your thumbs, elbows come out to 90 degrees for that great stretch in the chest. To make this more challenging, you step farther away from the band, or you can obviously go into a more challenging position or a more challenging band. I like to switch my feet halfway through. So if it comes up on your neck and that's driving you bananas, you can either do it a little bit lower or like I said, just put it on your thumb. So we'll go ahead and do three more. Now today I'll be going through one set of everything. You can just replay this if you want. If you're feeling really great, you can do up to five sets but definitely try to get, at least get two or three. All right, so keeping the band in the same position, whether it's on the door or you have it wrapped around a pull, you'll step away, palms are in, big squeeze in the shoulder blades, and then slowly release. And a big squeeze in the shoulder blades and slowly release. If you wanna add a little lower body, you can do squat and row. And squat and row. Just make sure every single time you bring those shoulder blades together, you're feeling that big squeeze. Relax the jaw, relax the neck. Now I may have lost count, but I believe we have five more. As you get stronger, you'll go up in a band or just step farther away from where the band is anchored. If this feels a lot in your neck, you can always put thumbs up. There's two more. First shoulders, one foot on. That foot that the band is on goes behind you. Hands at shoulder height. Big push all the way up. Elbows come down to 90 degrees. And again. Perfect. So core stays tight. Anytime you go over your head, it's an opportunity to use this as a core exercise. So we're working for at least 10, but if you get to 15, that's your indication. Since you have been doing this so darn long that you can go up in resistance. And I know if you have this band, these bands, and this entire band set, I know that you have that ability. Now, if you didn't have a lot of bands or you had um, only lighter weights, then I would say, oh, we'll just go up to 20. But you guys have been doing this for so long. It is time to just make sure that you maintain your strength and you know what? Probably even increases a little bit. Here's two more. And the very last time. Cool. All right, so palms are forward next. One or two feet on. And if this is too easy, you can always go wider with your feet. And we're doing bicep curls. Let me show you from the side. Core is tight. I'm a statue, except for my arms moving, so there's nothing in my back, right? Core is super tight. Jaws relax, neck is relaxed. 
I hope wherever you're vacationing, it's somewhere fantastic. So you can use this exercise to either do three sets, at least two, and up to five. We actually only have one more exercise left here. Go and do two more of these. And that is one for your triceps. So when you'll take your band, stand on it with one foot. That goes under to make sure bands on the ground, one foot. I put both hands in the handle. It goes over my head behind the neck and back up. This is what it looks like from the front. Behind the neck and back up. Behind the neck and back. Now I'm showing you with two hands because it makes it go a little bit quicker because I'm guessing that wherever you are or when you're doing this workout, you want to be as efficient and as effective as it can be. You can also do this with one hand. Again, anytime your arms go overhead, you have the opportunity to do a core workout. Let's go for five more. So what I'd like for you to do is to just go right through these exercises again. There's three and two. And make sure you try your best to get yourself stuck. Awesome. So that is how to do your upper body workout. Um, try to go for five sets. You know I'm here. I can give you some uh, more options, but I just want to make that super quick for you guys. Let's talk about how you can make this work out your best, and it's kind of what you do afterward. You guys know to drink water. I don't have to tell you. Think of the difference between swimming through water and swimming through mud. What would you like your toxins to swim through? Water, right? So they can get out of your body. Second, refueling your body. What are you going to put in? Put in real food, not fake food. Fruits, vegetables, protein sources, whether it's plant protein or animal protein, whatever your preference is. Whole grains, quinoa, brown rice, sweet potatoes, things like that. You guys, put in food that was once living and that will help you be as vibrant as you can be. Speaking of once living, you want to consider taking Juice Plus and I strongly recommend that every single person add it to their diet, birth to grave. It has a nutrition label. It is just food. Just food. 30 fruits and vegetables, dehydrated, put in either an easy to swallow capsule or a chewable. Kids love these. Many adults do too. We also have an Omega. It's 100% vegan. We skip the middle fish and go straight to the algae. It's all plant sources. So if you aren't currently taking Juice Plus, get back with me and I'll make sure that your family gets the opportunity to. Because all kids between the ages of four and 18 and all full-time college students get their Juice Plus free as long as they have a participating adult and it doesn't necessarily have to be their parent. It can be a grandparent, it can be a neighbor, it can be an aunt or uncle. Also know that we have a complete, it's called complete, protein, smoothie mix, 14 superfoods, including broccoli sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, things that my children would not eat. And you guys, look at the label again. It says nutrition facts. So many things in other places that you're mixing in smoothies say supplement facts, and you should know that there is no regulating body on supplements. And finally, if you want a quick on-the-go bar, we've got those too. So awesome job on your workout. Have an awesome day.